I got a couple couple more before we wrap up. Uh, okay, uh how about you view on Bigfoot? Me on Bigfoot? Yeah. Oh, man, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I want to believe that there's a Bigfoot out there. Uh, one time we went to the mountains up in North Carolina, not too far. Actually, it was in Maggie Valley. You know where that's at. Oh, yeah. Um, and we had a cabin up there we were staying in. We would go at least one time a year, uh, about a week. Well, one night me and Carrie had this. We, her mom and her brothers and all that were up there also. Well, um, we left to go to, I don't know, Walmart to get some stuff. And when we drove out, there was like a, a dirt path that you drive up the mountain. You know all about that. But um, so we left and we came back. Uh, there were limbs, not limbs, but actually like smaller trees kind of laid across the road, kind of like blocking us about every 20 or 30 feet. Now, they weren't big trees. I mean, but. They were big enough that I actually had to kind of pick them up and drag them out of the way. But That's strange. When I got back to the cabin, which is probably a half a mile from that spot, um, somebody, I mean, I asked somebody, I said, hey, did anybody go out there in the dark and put any of those trees in the road? And nobody confessed to it. And still to this day, we don't know it. But you know that you, if you know anything about Bigfoot, that sometimes he does that. But the thing was, they were not very big trees, you know. Right. So I don't know if that was a Bigfoot experience or what, but that's just a little story that I got. But um, could, have been, could have been a stick, Andy. <laughs> you never know, bud. You never know. I mean, we had been out there, you know, playing around in the stream, and I try to. That's where I caught my first rainbow trout at up there you know, um fishing one day i mean I, I put it back i don't know if it ever lived but um we had a good time but i think there's a big history or a big a lot of stories from bigfoot up that way right oh yeah yeah well i mean there's quite a lot of uh bigfoot stories more like rutherfton and mcdowell county and on the other side of the mountain in the Tennessee side, not so much over in Haywood County, but we, we, we've got our different kind of stories about we, like, we, like we got Boojum, which he could be big. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying he ain't, but that's, that's our legend around here. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's there's some stories. I mean, we're starting to get a couple stories down here on the coast about the dog men, and uh, there's one of them uh, that of a guy that talks about the story. It's one it's a show that comes on TV. I can't remember the name of it, but he he tells his story about the dog man, and that's actually not too far from where I am now. Probably um, at least thirty miles, if if not sooner, and. Uh, God, it comes on one of them channel, A&E, and it's, it's, it's Terra in, in the Woods or something like that. And uh, I've heard that there's quite a few dog men stories in Virginia. So, oh, I mean, yeah. there's definitely crazy stuff out there. <laughs> no, I don't know if you've ever heard the story of the dog men that they came from Nazi um, experiments is what they claim. Mm -hmm. and had used submarines to infiltrate the waters along the coast of the east coast and then turn these things loose in the pine barrens and you know all the forests along the coastal areas and they were equipped to you know they were basically meant to be spies and mm -hmm. uh, they were engineered that way but who knows it's nazis <laughs> yeah Zach said, have, we, have you ever heard of the beast of Bladen County? Bladen County. No. I, I want to say that's about in the 18 or 1700s. They had some kind of beast that was terrorizing people. And I, they ended up bringing, a, I believe, a, a well-known or big-time hunter come into the um, – or they hired him to go kill the beast. They didn't know what it was or – it was just some kind of beast. I can't remember the whole story right now off the top of my head. 
but I think it ended up being like a wild cat. I believe so. Oh, now I've heard stories like that to where they go and uh, have some kind of, uh, you know, a beast report and then livestock will be killed. And then the, the, they'll get the town folk come out and they'll, they'll just kill everything. And yep. it'll end up being like, you know, some kind of panther or something like that. Yep. Good night, Beth. Thanks. But um, you never know. I mean, somebody also recommended that like these shapes, I mean, um, these uh, dog men could be like shape shifters or whatever, you know, so. Or skinwalkers. <laughs> yeah, could be. Well, how do you, uh, I know you asked me, I want to ask you the same question. How, how do you, do you believe that Bigfoot exists? I think too many people have seen him to, for it not to exist. Right. Right. They've seen something. There's, I mean, you just can't have that many people see something and it not be something. Yeah. The thing that, the thing that gets me is, is like everybody's like, well, they got so many trail cameras out in the woods. Why haven't we got a good picture of them? I think there is pictures of them. It's just, oh, yeah. they're, not, they're not good. You know, I mean, no. not, he's the best. No, I mean, I mean, come on, the man's champion at, at hide and seek. <laughs> it's just, it's just like ghosts. You know, you're never, you're not always going to get a good picture. You know, they're not going to stand there and pose for you. You know, so I don't know. Uh, just it's crazy man it's crazy world it is man but um i don't know man y'all y'all going ghost hunting tonight right yeah yeah we're gonna leave here out here in a little bit all right if anybody hasn't subscribed to american phantom hunters their link is their link is in the description go check them out and please give this video a like and subscribe and uh, to us also, if you don't mind, is there anything else that you would like to talk about? No, nah, I just want to tell all my viewers and even yours, if uh, you know, if y'all haven't subscribed to American Fan Homes, come so come and subscribe to us. And I know we've not uploaded in a while, but I've right. I've had a lot of tinnitus. And, uh, it just gets it gets awful. <laughs> mm.